Well, when I got out of the military, man, I, I knew I just wanted to start a business. And, uh, I got money from the government to go back and get an MBA, and I did that. And then I was starting businesses, and they were failing. Actually, back in the 70s, I even started a software company that failed. And in my mind, what happened is it took me you know, two failing businesses to unlearn all that stuff they taught me in school. So if you want to start a business or something like that, man, I, I think <laughs> don't go get an MBA to do that. I mean, the credentials like that are what you need if you want to work for somebody else. You want to work for yourself. You don't need that. And here I'll show you some places where you can get all that training you need to start any kind of business uh, for free or even a nonprofit organization. Yeah. And this is a report I put together for members of Let's Go Help, a center free. Uh, so you have all the sources I'm talking about. And they're, they're different, really, any place you live. But this report shows you how to find what they are. And if you just listen to this video, you'll get enough to be able to track it down if you don't want to join my service and, and find a lot of this stuff anyway. So this is how not only to get trained, but how to get free money and help to start your business and make it grow. And it's not, you know, so many people want to start a business and they don't need money. And that's how things start in this country. People without money doing things, not people with money. Everybody thinks they need a million dollars. That's crazy. I mean, for some businesses you do, but you want to make a living and, and make a contribution to our society or whatever, that you don't need money to start things. You know? uh, but you have to learn about the tools that are out there that will help you. And it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be easy. You're not going to, in two weeks, be a millionaire. You know, that kind of stuff doesn't happen. Uh, and if you want something easy, <laughs> yeah, well, actually try another life almost. Everything you do is going to be hard work. And that's why if you do something you really want to do, you'll get through that hard work. The same with the relationships or whatever. So that's why if you have the dream for being independent and want to do that, and no job is safe anymore anyway. Uh, so it really makes a whole lot of sense. So let me so show you what, and the sources I'm going to show you here are really just a snapshot uh, of the main ones I think you should contact to see. I mean, life is really making a lot of stumbles and failures and everything and keeping going. And there's literally hundreds and hundreds of sources that I do. I do custom reports and show you a couple hundred sources where you live to start. But I'm not going to go through all that because I'm going to show you the best and when to start. The first one is your local small business development center. Now, if you have this report, here's a link. I give you that a link um, for free. But if you don't have this, you just you know look for small business development center and put your county or, or your state. That's all. Remember, everything you want to do is either .gov or .org. Don't go to .com because you're going to want to start a business and, and you're going to go on the internet and try to find this stuff and then somebody's going to sweet talk you. Uh, they're so good at it, they're going to get your money. And I, I talk to a lot of people who come to me after they failed in spending all that money and start all over again. So I mean, to me, just don't even do that. Ignore it. You know? <laughs> you know, maybe cut up your credit card, whatever it is it takes so you don't get trapped. Because they know how to get it. They're better marketing people than I am. So this is it. I show you about them. And that's where to start. Because these are free people that help you. They'll show you the major programs and stuff like that. And sit down with you one-on-one -on -one with your idea. You could be an inventor. You could be starting a business. You could be a freelancer. Uh, you could be a real estate investor. Uh, I'm going to say anything you want to do to make money, you know, uh, generate your own income, they will help you for free, help your tax reforms, help your legal, legal advice, and everything. So they're great. They have courses and everything like that. If they charge, it's going to be 20 bucks or something like that. So that's a place to start. Now, another place, a good place to start is local meetups. Go to meetup.com. And here, this is a report I just did uh, for uh, a Let's Go Help member who's in Oklahoma. So she lives in Oklahoma City. And so I put in, go to meetup.com and see the help that's available for free. Just like the Small Business Development Center, meetups are free, but they're from people. The Small Business Development Center are experts, you know, and they're doing it. So they're professionals and do this stuff. But you want to learn from people like you. Hey, this guy started this business. Well, how do they do it or whatever? This lady was working at home, taking care of her kids, started a business. How do they do it? They're at meetups. And that's free too. It may cost you, oh, oh somebody's after me. It may cost you a, you know, a, a $20 pizza dinner or something like that. But that's it. And that's why don't go to a seminar that's going to teach you all this. They learn from somebody who's doing it right now. They may be six months ahead of you, 12 months ahead of you, 
12 years ahead of you. And they share. I mean, this is what uh, our communities are about, is helping other people. These kind of people are there. Now look at all the meetups that are right there in this one city. I mean, uh, okay, uh, Oklahoma City Entrepreneur Group, Oklahoma City Entrepreneur Networking Meetup Group. Here, Green Grow, Cannabis Entrepreneurs, Investors, and Cult of whatever they are. Yeah, <laughs> Black Entrepreneurs, Entrepreneurs for Improving Businesses, uh, American Entrepreneur Personal Network. See, all these are free. You go there and meet people like you trying to do the same thing and are so far ahead of you. It's a, you know, the Oklahoma City Girly Book Club. No, I, that doesn't sound like a meetup, but here, a real estate investor happy hour. So you find other investors and people share their information. And so you don't have to go to a class, you don't have to pay money, you don't have to hire a consultant or, or whatever. Yeah, startup, uh, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City Military Investors uh, Meetup. Uh, they're just, you know, depending on where you live, how many of these things are there. So that's a free place. That's what you want to do. And you want to cut through, this is what I'm showing you here too, how to cut through all this stuff. Instead of going through millions and millions of websites, forget all that. Forget the Googling for help unless you know exactly what you want. If you don't know what you want, don't go to Google, go to people. And that's the important. You get on the phone, go to these organizations or whatever, and find out what you want to know. Now, here's a wonderful thing that my son just finished too. Uh, there's a group that gives, you know, if you want to start a business, there's about, they give out like uh, grants of up to $1,000, uh, $150,000. Every three months, uh, they have a free training, free entrepreneur training. It's online. It's called ycombinator.com. Y, just the letter Y, and then Combinator, C-O-M-B-I-N-A-T-O-R.com. And I have a, a list now, uh, you know, they do this a couple times a year because it's a 10 week course. A 10 week course is free. And here's what you cover. You cover finances. You cover uh, how to talk to user, how to evaluate your startup, you know, how to write a business, everything you want to know or ever needed to know. Uh, they're teaching you free. And it's a group thing. You find people in your area that are also doing the same thing you are. And again, you could be a nonprofit too. My son is working with a non as a nonprofit. It's wonderful advice. Uh, and they they take you through step by step. Every week you meet and you have, have, have homework to do and everything to really learn about what is it. And you know what this. Uh, thing is from it's from somebody who became a billionaire in the high tech industry and he wants kids he's looking younger people but any age could do this uh uh to start a business and not go to college he thinks you know college is a waste of money waste of time man just like it was for me <laughs> <laughs> but I was insecure and probably needed it <laughs> just for my insecurity. Uh, so you never know. Uh, uh, and that's what, so he's giving out money like this, like 2,000 people, you know, uh, to get $150,000 for their business. And you take this course first with them and then you write your plan, what you're having to do. And they pick out of so many every, every six months or every three months, something like that. And, and they give you money and they fly you out to San Francisco to keep you for three months to grow your business. You know? And they help you with all the help you need. You know, you need legal advice, you need that. They're all in-house people that help you grow your business. It costs you nothing, plus you, you made $150,000, okay? Uh, now here's another thing too, is there something like, in Oklahoma, look for something like this where you are. Like the startup, see every government wants you to start a business. Why? Because you're going to create jobs. And why are they interested in you creating jobs? Because if you create a job, then they don't have to worry about the, you and your employees <laughs> wanting to get government benefits of some kind because you're, you're making money, right? So that's the important thing. So that's why they help them. And, and you see here, uh, Oklahoma City has seed funding. Uh, they have all kinds of resources co-working offices. This is what a lot of people are doing now when they start businesses. They're using co-working spaces. You hear of maybe WeWork and places like that. They're big international companies now that are uh, jumping on this bandwagon because everybody's starting a business at home and, and they want to have people around them that are also starting businesses because if you're not starting a business, you can't relate <laughs> to, to how hard it is. So you have people like you to give you tips and help you and things like that. Uh, so this is a uh, it's called startupok.com. Now it's a dot com, I understand, but uh, but it is for some other reason. This is a good one. <laughs> it's rare, sorry, but it tell you what's available. Okay, here's education. 
uh, Tulsa Research Partners, uh, uh, Supercomputing Center, Met Metro Technology Center. These are places where you okay coders. So this is where to learn coding, uh, business school, stuff like that, events calendar. You want to go to Oklahoma City Tech Meetups. So that's a, uh, a group of people. This is where you learn and get input and find out what to do. Here are organizations, uh, event organizations, all on starting businesses in the Oklahoma area. You know, uh, Oklahoma Entrepreneur Leadership Center, uh, OU Startup Weekend. You know, these kind of, that's where you want to go. Don't go on the internet. You're just going to get hucksters trying to sell you something. You don't want to be sold. You want to learn the truth, the facts, and, and what's out there. And the people that are doing it out of the way. Here's our government businesses and organizations, see, because there are so many. See, you have your state government, your local government, uh, and nonprofit organizations, uh, county government, city government, all these government agencies have uh, programs to help you start or grow a business. Now, th this report doesn't show all them or go into all them. I'm just taking the highlights to check these first because this is where you want to start first. Uh, Oklahoma you know, internships. Wow, that, that's good. Now, here's what you want to know about in your area is it called what's called incubators. They're called incubators and accelerators. There are a couple names for these things. And what they do is not only help you, teach you about uh, starting a business, whatever it is, and they may be free or they may charge you a rent or something like that at a low cost, but they help get you all the help and expertise you need and money. A lot of them have grant money too. They give you whether it's $50,000, $10,000, $100,000 or whatever, because they want you to succeed. So it, 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 you know, you got to prove that you have a good idea, but that's okay too. It costs nothing to try. And you want to go, look, they have 20 or 30 of these things right, right in the city. So find there. So if you don't, can't find a good list, just put, you know, um, go to the search engine and, and find incubators or accelerators. Incubators or accelerators. That's what you want to know. And, and you find out uh, for your state, put your state. And there's probably a listing because one, some government agency like this is probably financed by a government agency listing all these things. Now, here's a sample of one. It's called uh, the Sooner Launchpad. Sooner, I think that's, you know, people in Oklahoma are called Sooners or something. I don't really know. It's probably a football league. But they give $10,000 to help launch a business. Yeah. Now, they say it's for students, but I read the thing. It's for everybody in business because they want the city to grow, too. So they not only give you ten grand to start your business, and that's you know, money you don't have to pay back, then they give you everything else to help you go along. Now here's another thing besides if you're looking for grants and, and government contracts, every state has this. It's called, look at them down here, it's called PTAC, Procurement Technical Assistance Center. You can Google that and make sure it's, you know, .org. See, this is a .org. Uh, that's all you want is .org or .gov. And these people get grant money to help you figure out how to get a government contract or a grant. <laughs> so that's what they do. It's mostly contracts, but if you have a service, you already have a service, or even before you are live with the service, what you can do is go to them first and say, hey, what do you think of me selling? I'm, I want to start a business doing X, Y, Z. But does it make sense to try to get government contracts? Because if they say, well, yeah, you could, you know, there's a lot of government contracts for this, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you know uh, how good the thing is. And see, they're all free. And also what they have there is grants to help you figure out how to get a contract. <laughs> That's right, because they want small businesses, they have grants for small businesses to help figure out how to get a current contract. And like uh, You may have heard me talk about my, my sister who, who did like a million dollars worth of business framing in a garage in the, for the government. And then you have videos here of, oh, I go around and interview these government officials. Now, this is the government officials who, who help people one-on-one -on -one to get government contracts. You see them there. Here's another government official. And th this guy says, you do not need an expert. You do not have to hire anybody to get a government contract. You're a woman entrepreneur, want to know how to do that, or a small business minority, whatever. You do not have to hire anybody. And you get it from the horse's mouth. They are there to help you. So I got three there. And here's something interesting too. If you're a nonprofit, you know, Google will give you $10,000 a month in advertising. So if you're a new business, what you want to do is maybe find a nonprofit to work together with because you could sell your idea with the nonprofit and they share the revenue with you. I mean, you have to, you know, it's sort of like actually, I, I was thinking the other day, or actually, I, I was helping a, a company in, in Oklahoma who was also, who was a bakery. 
you know, and they, they were they had a retail bakery shop in a, you know, a, a city that was shrinking. And so I said, hey, why don't you make cakes for birthday cakes for the local senior center? Okay, so now this is a way for you to get business as a bakery, right? Every new bank. And, and what you could do is go to Google Ads and, and get $10,000 a month because you're working with a nonprofit now. I mean, they will be the one in charge of the ads. And they could go out and, and market for you. Hey, you know, we need to raise money. You could do a crowdfunding site or whatever on raising money to get you know, to make birthday cakes, special birthday cakes for the senior centers, because it may be the last birthday, right? And so that's why if you're helping something for the community, you're doing something with the community, the community, you know, is more likely to help you. If you're doing something, oh, I just want to cook a lot of birthday cakes and, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and buy a yacht or something like that. Nah, people don't want to help you do that, you know, but people want to help you help somebody in the community do something. So that's why I take your business and see how, hey, how can I, you know, use this kind of money? Uh, and that also makes it, see what I have here, oh, I'll show you how to get that thing. And I have a, uh, a video here, a, a woman I interviewed did that. She, she turned $340,000 into $400,000. And she did that with that, uh, that free $10,000 a month from Google. And then I'll show you how to start a, uh, uh, a crowdfunding campaign and even if you fail see I don't think it matters if you fail but see you will fail definitely if you don't have a lot of names okay so if you don't have a lot of followers and social media and all that kind of stuff you're probably gonna fail but you try it anyway because it costs nothing but if you work with a nonprofit that has a lot of names then that makes sense you know so that's why the the cake guy can work with a nonprofit they have a mailing list they're always raising money or whatever you know and, and uh, you work with them, so they're getting the benefit of it, you know, and, and you, it's easier, you know, to get people to know about it, easier to get it written up on the media, the local paper, stuff like that, because you're doing something for the community. So, and that's when a, 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 a crowdfunding campaign really pays off. When you're doing something that includes helping someone in the community, and it includes, you know, you working in conjunction with somebody who already has a big list. Because if you if you set up a crowdfunding campaign and only have three three hundred followers, you know nothing is probably going to happen. Uh, there's exceptions, <laughs> you know, always, but that's it. And I show you step by step here how to, how to write a program, where to get all the help you need. You know, it doesn't have to be professional. I've interviewed like three four hundred people who've done crowdfunding campaigns, and there's. The, some of them you know did their video just by themselves on their iPhone other people spent ten thousand dollars or something none of that was uh, critical to their success any expert could come in and tell you 50 ways why your crowdfunding is gonna fail that's all and then when they finish you can find 50 other ways that doesn't matter the, the main thing I think it matters you have to have names or a way that you're gonna get this out there and, and you have to have your heart in it you know, you have to have your heart telling something and all that bells and whistles and if ands are but the same way I've learned in selling. Man, if people don't want it, it doesn't matter how, how good you uh, anything is. And so that's what you have to do is make sure that this is something people want and you find you know, a partner with names and things like that. So I take you through the whole process uh, of finding out all this kind of stuff. So that's a way to start your business. So here, if you find uh, an idea that you hook up with somebody else that um, a nonprofit has lots of names, then you could start your, uh, your, your business like that without any money. Now I have another report that uh, people and members get the report uh, this report because it has a link to something else about six non-traditional ways of getting money for your business idea. And these are other things, how to find rich people and stuff like this. But the one, all the items I've said in this report are things that I think you should investigate first. So this is your first look at it. And, and again, I think the bottom line is do not spend money on anybody until you go through this. If all these things, you know, are just there. Yeah, but it's terrible and whatever, and, you know, there's certainly a possibility. See, everything I'm showing you is just a maybe. I, I, I can't guarantee anything will work. It may work for you, it may work, not work for you. This has worked for some people, and, and you know, it may or may not work for you, but most importantly, it doesn't cost you money. 
So you always want to do this first. If you start uh, believing in people who say they can make a million dollars, you're going to run out of money before you figure out what works for you. So what you have to do is find out what get closer and closer through every failure on learning what may work for you. And the only way you could stay in game long enough to figure that out is if you're not spending money. Yeah. You know, uh, so keep going. I mean, it, it, it's not easy. You just don't make one phone call and find out. No, you're going to have to go through a lot of stuff, you know, and that's why you make sure that what you're doing in life is something you really want to do because it's going to be work. <laughs> yeah. The people, the salesmen who say it's easy, they're lying. <laughs> it's all relative. Yeah. And, and if it's easy, it'd be boring. So, you know, it, it's the hard work that's fun. I mean, I always say, oh, do you want to play basketball against a five-year-old, well, that's easy to win, right? But it's no fun. And you're not contributing to, to society. So take your idea, try these sources, you know, go through it, contact them. The more you go belly to belly with these people and try to find, hey, and don't say, hey, I need money. No, just say, hey, I need help with my business idea. How can you maybe help me, please?